so as y'all know it's wash day and i am going to be doing a diy deep conditioner and i'm gonna be showing y'all how i do that and what i do every week to keep my curls hydrated i'm trying to work on um, my damaged hair and just keep it moisturized and hydrated and stuff like that so for this diy deep conditioner you are going to need um of course some conditioner whatever conditioner you want to use today i'm using the aunt jackie's um in control moisturizing and softening conditioner and then you are going to need some honey and i have <clears throat> some olive oil and some jamaican black castor oil and i am going to show y'all what i do so i'm going to show y'all what i add and first i am going to add my conditioner i don't usually measure out how much conditioner i use so i'm just going to put some in there and see if just look at it and tell if that's enough for me i have really thick hair and dry damaged heat well heat damaged hair and so i'm just going to use that much that's what i think i will need for my whole head and after that i am going to use my uh the olive oil i am going to take um one tablespoon of olive oil and pour it in there and then i'm also going to take um one sp tablespoon of honey and i should have left the honey upside down for a while to make it all go to the bottom uh, <laughs> as you can see i really struggled like getting it out of the bottle and i'm trying to squeeze it out and i'm still sitting there struggling <laughs> um but so i use one tablespoon of honey and i pour that in there after a while like when i started mixing it looked really weird but let's see how it comes out and i'm going to use like a half a tablespoon of jamaican black castor oil and pour that in there and i'm going to start mixing it up and as you can see like it's still like a it looks like a cream type texture um because of the type of conditioner i have and i'm just mixing it all together working all those products in together and this is what i get it's like um a really thick um type of conditioner not liquidy or anything like that just thick and creamy and so i'm gonna keep mixing it and then i'm going to apply this to my hair and i'll show y'all how i do that so this is what my hair looks like right now dry and i had in a split back yesterday so it's just really goes. so first i am going to put my hair into sections and i'm going to start with the back first so I'm going to put the hair up. Um, yeah. So I'm going to put the front up. And then I'm going to split this back section in half. Now I am going to 
spray my hair with my spray bottle so I can wet it. I don't want my hair just damp, like I actually really want it wet. So, yep, and now I am going to take my deep conditioner and apply it to my hair. I'm really gonna try to rake it in with my fingers first as much as I can. Can I get a little more? And now I'm going to take my comb and I'm going to really comb it through. And putting conditioner in your hair before combing it really helps with the tangles and stuff. Also doing a deep conditioner helps with wash day. Like it really helps make like your wash day so much easier and more manageable. And so after um, I comb this through, I am going to put this section in a braid. Uh-oh. Just like this. And the end I'm just gonna twist up. Uh, here we go. And now I'm gonna do this with the other sections. Okay, after I do my braids, I still have some left in here. So I'm gonna take some of this and I'm going to apply it like to this part up here and in the back. Apply some to my edges. Right there. I'm gonna take a little more and apply some to the braids. Just the outside of my braids. Make sure I get my kitchen back there. And you can leave this in for about 15 to 30 minutes today. I am going to do 30 because my hair just really had a rough week, <laughs> honestly. So I'm going to put my shower cap on. And then I'm going to put my 
hair towel on too to give extra heat. Just gonna add a little heat and I will see y'all in about 30 minutes. After that, I will come back and I will show y'all how my curls look um, when I take my braids out. And then I will go and wash and condition my hair and show y'all how it moisturized it and stuff like that with no product. And then maybe I will show y'all after I add product. We gonna see. So I'm back and my 30 minutes are up. So I'm gonna take off my um, uh, shower cap. And this is what my braids look like. I'm gonna take them out to show y'all how my hair looks. Ooh, my hair feels like really soft. and moisturized like it just really feels like replenished like like this is how my curls look through this side This is still with the deep conditioner in it. That's how my curls look. Look at that. This is the damaged part of my hair, so like, yeah. My hair feels really good. It smells really good too. But yeah, so I am going to go get in the shower and rinse this out, wash and condition my hair. And to wash and condition my hair, I am going to be using TGIN Moisture Rich uh, Sulfate Free Shampoo and the <clears throat> Triple Moisture Replenishing Conditioner. So I will be back to show y'all how my hair looks. So now I'm back and I have cleansed my hair and let's see. This is what my curls look like after I wash and conditioned it. It feels really good, like my hair feels really good. Feels like Oh, just really lightweight and like, yeah, it just feels really good. It's back. I don't know if y'all can see, but that's the back of my hair. And that is what I do every week for my deep condition to keep my hair hydrated and moisturized throughout the week especially in the summer like it's really hot out here like the heat is drying out my hair and also like I've been working out and sweating and stuff so this is the video I hope you guys enjoyed this um let me know what else you guys would like to see I'm gonna thinking about trying a new uh deep condition with aloe vera so let me know if y'all want to see that or if y'all would like to see my daily um hair routine or um 
just like my, my wash day routine or something like that so i am off of here now guys i hope y'all enjoy it thank you for watching peace